How is everyone doing today? I got a couple parcels here. I got to show you. It's an exciting day. We got this massive, massive box. Someone has sent me, I believe, their entire Pokemon card collection. Now, I've opened it because I wanted to get rid of all of the, the tape on it so that I didn't have to wrestle with it in the opening. And there's like... There's elite trainer boxes, there's tins, there's binders. On top of that, I got three or four small bits of postage uh, to go through. This first one is from someone, Brian. Uh, I want to I wanna flip it the other way so that you don't see. Uh, and this is by someone called Brian or Byron. Brian, I think. And they've sent me this uh, zip bag. Um... Filled with Pokemon cards. So these P.O. Box openings, of course, are being streamed live to twitch.tv forward slash birdkeepertoby exclusively for my Twitch subscribers um, to say thank you for supporting. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, all of the content eventually ends up here on my brand new channel, Card Keeper Toby. So thank you. Uh, why don't you subscribe here as well and enjoy. There's more card videos to come. I've already done a one P.O. Box opening. I intend to do a lot more. You can see my P.O. Box right below me. Um, if you are sending, please don't use parcel force because it messes up a lot. Anyway, here we go. And uh, they got some pretty cool little bits in here that I'm, I'm excited about. I have actually seen a bunch of it. A bunch of these cards. Make me dab. Fair enough. You're a sub, you get a dab. That's just how it goes. And we've got... Look at this coin. Before we even get onto the cards, there's this Pikachu coin, right? Ah, oh, and that, there we go, is the tracking. And I don't know what this Pikachu coin's even from, but you got to admit it's cool. D I, I don't know if anyone in chat knows what collection this is from, but I'm a big, big fan of it. Boom. That was for Ali Hutton. <laughs> Moving straight into the cards, we're starting off with the Salamance Level X. I was not really playing the card game during the Level X time. But I gotta admit, some of the artworks here are pretty cool. Giratina Level X. Is that possibly the first ever Giratina card? Shaman Level X. I'll have to give that to Phoebe, the last Shaman. Cresselia Level X. Chansey EX. Wow, okay, what kind of... Is this in... It's in okay shape? This is cool. So this card here, this card here, this Chansey EX, number 96 out of 109, is the first ever EX Pokemon. Fish Cabates, thank you so much for the subscription. Thank you so much. I thought you were already subscribed. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Um, this is the first ever EX card. People might not know this. This is from the set EX Ruby and Sapphire. And in the set list, this is the first one because alphabetically, Chansey is pretty early on. Um, hey, it was your fifth month streak. Oh, thank you for being subscribed for five months in a row. Uh, and that is the first ever EX card. They continued EXs through... Uh, I think they stopped them during the Diamond and Pearl era and then brought them back for Black and White. Then they did GXs in the Sun and Moon era. Uh, they had the EXs as well in, in the uh, X and Y time and yeah EXs are the longest running like type of uh type of I guess other type of big card type of double prize card and they've had a lasting impact on the on the series we've got this Suicune it's a promo but it is a shiny Suicune it's very cool a Gengar Prime that's nice that's some cool artwork that that's got a real Pokken vibe kind of shadowy Gengar Lurching forth from the dips. Yan Mega. Showing off why Yan Mega is so cool. Oh, look at the little flowers behind it as well. Is the Gengar shiny? No, the Gengar isn't shiny. The yeah, I mean, they're, they're shiny cards. This is shiny. But it's not a shiny Pokemon. This is a shiny Pokemon. Azumarill. I love this. This is like one of the more common shiny Pokemon that are out there in the card game. Unlike the much less common... Oh my goodness, there's another one behind there. Shining ho -Oh. The Elite Trainer Box promo for Shining Legends. I don't take enough time. I got one of these already, but I do not take enough time to appreciate the artwork of that. I mean, isn't it stunning? Do you all see this in the chat? How stunning I think this is. I can't describe it enough. Sunset. 
Or sunrise. I suppose it's sunrise for ho -Oh. Beautiful. A shiny dust skull. I actually needed one of these until not that long ago. And I got one traded to me. It was in the last PO box opening. So now I've got two. A dark war turtle from the legendary collection. A delta species chikorita that is a ground type. I'm going to let the tracking stop doing its thing. Or will it stop? Will it stop? Ah! Away with you tracking! Away! Away! This is the bit that I have to cut out of the final video. This is just for those of you live, isn't it? We've got a Chikorita Delta Species, a Pichu Delta Species, which is Steel type. Very nice, very cool. An Elekid Delta Species, and a Nidorina Delta Species. Oh, there's more here! A Lavatar Delta Species. Horsey! A fire type of horsey. What a cool idea. I used to have the Kingdra. Maybe I'll get the whole set again. Uh, I'm going to go and close the uh, door. The, the big card at the back here, you don't want to miss. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to close the window. Do, 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 do. That shouldn't be open. Letting sound in. Letting sound in! <laughs> Alright, we got the, uh, we've got the Aranith. The Delta Species Aranith. Oh, beautiful. I lo I've always loved this one. Meow Delta Species, because it's dark steel type or dark metal type in the card game. And dark is obviously very evocative of Team Rocket in the card game. They've, uh, I've done a whole video about dark Pokemon. and You can kind of see it in his eyes. He's been possessed by something evil. A whooper. Whoopa. Whoopa. Delta Species is Grass-type. And this card, I've actually, I've already seen it. So I'm, I'm sorry to have ruined the surprise a little bit for myself. And this is a card that genuinely, and no one ever needs to send me anything. I want to be absolutely clear. When you send me stuff out, you don't have to send anything. You don't have to send anything big. You can just send, if you're going to send something for the PO Box, everything's going to be small. But this person was like, no, Toby, I know you'll treasure this. This is a gold star Pikachu that someone just sent me. It's in really nice condition. I gotta say, I mean, I don't have a gold star Pikachu. It is the only shiny Pikachu card in the card game. And I get it. Shiny Pikachu. It looks super similar to regular Pikachu, but it's still a piece of Pokemon history. And I get to just enjoy it. So thank you so much, Brian. Hang on. I want to check. Brian. So thank you so much, Brian. Thank you, Brian. It's a dark yellow, it's kind of orangey tinge. That is a gold star Pikachu. Gold stars are just some of the best cards in this game in the whole history of collection. So that's nice. That is something to enjoy for sure. Moving right along though. I'm gonna do the big package. I think second to last. All right, what's in here? We've got, uh, uh, oh, this one has a little letter. Cool. So we've got a little letter saying, oh, the letter's kind of stuck to the card. No, the letter was stuck to the top loader. Hope you have a great day. Been fun trading with you. And it's actually ripped off the name, but it, P, P, PDP? Oh, and they sent three cards. We had traded for this very Kingla. Hang on, let me get it out of the sleeve. This That's not on the card, that's on the sleeve. But another Delta Species card. You can tell I really like them. And there you go. It was not PD Riddle, no. Um, and this is a Kingla card from Crystal Guardians. I really like the holofoil on this card. Um, I just think... I just think it looks nice. A fire, metal, Kingla, burning in the sun. It's red hot claws snapping things up with the strength of iron. Yeah, this is cool. This is a cool card. This is one to have. I had this as a kid. 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to have it again. There's a lot of water types that got the fire type and delta species. I'd love to, to get, end up with the whole collection. We got an Arceus level X to join our level X collection, which is very nice. Promo card. And they've also thrown in a Charizard. A mega Charizard Y-E-X. Yex. <laughs> mega Charizard Yex from Evolutions. Beautiful. We always like Charizards. Everyone in the card game loves a good Charizard. All right. This one comes with a letter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It comes with a, 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 a packet of cards and a letter. So I'm going to read the letter first. It's the first thing I want to do. So. Aww. How cute is that? Shiny Noctowl and um, a Munchlax. And their Team Snooze in the clouds. I love him. He looks kind of... The, the, the Noctowl looks a little bit chonky, and I kind of love that about it. <laughs> Thank you. So this says... Hello, Berkey Vitovi. I hope you enjoy the cards and the art. I haven't done a lot of drawing recently, so I decided to take the opportunity to bring my colored pencils and draw two of your favorite Pokemon, which they are. They, they really are. You're also a big fan of Noctowl. I'm also a big fan of Noctowl, so drawing the shiny version was fun. Also, here's a video idea, if you haven't done it already. Ranking all of the bird Pokemon in order of favorites. That is something I should probably do or have done by now. Quite a challenge for a bird keeper, but I bet it would be entertaining. In any case, uh, I hope you have a great day. And uh, um, have a great day and keep fun making videos from Andrew. P.S. Accept this letter in a way so that you can separate the art from it if you want. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to store it. I'm going to keep it all. I keep it all in the same place. I've got a whole collection um, of, of artworks and letters and stuff where I keep everything. And Andrew sent some cards. Uh, I think we did a trade. This was for a trade that we did maybe. I really love this coin. How cool is that? How cool is this coin? Um, and the cards are, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We've got a water energy and these are the coolest energy. They're from EX Emerald and I've never, I don't think there's energy anywhere near as cool in the card game. There's, there's maybe, there's some old ones that are shiny, some classic ones that I've seen. Uh, but these ones are really cool. We've got a dark magneton from EX Team Rocket Returns, one of my favorite sets. There we go. A dark Arbark. From EX Team Rocket Returns. I've got the Weezing. Now I've got Weezing and Arvark, and they can go together, and they've both got the stamp. We're going to Primate from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Let's see if we can't get the focus. There we go. From Fire Red and Leaf Green. A Dugong from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Very nice. We've got a Swirl under the tail as well. We like our Swirls. A Sharpedo EX. A Darbok. A Dark Bok. Yes. This is really nice. This is one of the original Black Star promos. It was one of the last ones, I believe. Number 30. Black Star promo. And it's uh so it was one of the last Wizards of the Coast cards, I believe. But done in a way that maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I gotta look into this card, but it's it's really beautiful. Like, yeah, I think it, I think it's to do with Pokemon Forever. Is where it is where it came out. And then finally, we have a Rayquaza from EX Emerald, making this the Rayquaza of Emerald version. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, okay, I'm going to save this, this package for last and move on to the... And you're going to see this to believe it. Absolutely ginormous and a heavy box. I mean, it's... it's it's heavy. I want to make sure I'm not giving you any shipping labels or anything. It is heavy. And in here, we're going to start with a letter. Dear Bergy Batobi. This is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you for all this. Enclosed with this package is a thank you present. Oh, <laughs> For someone you have inadvertently helped uh, in a time of darkness. I also want to thank you for the content you've been making over the years. I love your Pokemon theories, by the way. I wish you well and hope to battle you sometime in the mainline games. After this, I'm giving you a battle for sure. Um, use these cards as you wish. I hope they serve you well. Best regards. P.S. I love your theory videos. And uh, if I could send bear hugs, I would. I've been given a switch friend code and a little meme that says, You're breathtaking! With Spider-Man. No, you're breathtaking. Daniel, thank you. This is really sweet. Um, I will keep this with the other letters. I will add your friend code and we will absolutely have a battle. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out. I'm going to add it to my to-do list uh, for after this call. 
for after this stream. And we have, oh my goodness, we have what looks to be an elite trainer box, a deck box, an elite trainer box. Oh my goodness, this is so much. A tin, a tin, and oh my, this is huge. This is huge. What? And a binder filled. I'm I'm excited. So here's my thinking. I think most people put their best cards in the binder in the deck box. So I'm gonna leave those to last. We'll start with the tins, then we'll move on to the elite trainer box. Um Alright, thanks, Amy. Um you got something you want to tell me about the stream? Okay. Hopefully everything's okay. I'm sure it is. Uh I guess we'll start with the tins. And just see what happens. Daniel, thank you so much. This is so incredibly generous. We've got a tin here. Uh, Eveltal. Eveltal. Shiny Eveltal. What's in here? we got some mats. Is this all? I think this is all mats. And some kind of chocolate. <laughs> kind of chocolate thing? Okay. Um, so that's all mats. No cards there. Very exciting. Lots of mats to play games on though. We've got, I think, coins and counters in here. Yeah. Coins, counters. Very cool. <gasps> A Team Magma coin. This is going to have been from, like, Team Magma Aqua era. Oh, my goodness. I, sorry, I love coins like that. Is that an older one or is that a new one? I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. Either way, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see it. It's cool to see anything like that. Oh my goodness. If I'm remembering right, this is from the original EXT Magma deck, which makes me very happy to see. Uh, okay. Let's see if there's any cards. Should we go for an Elite Trainer box? Is this one here that is like wrapped up in a bag? I'm gonna... Oh my, oh my, okay. And what I see in here a whole bunch of stuff. There's some sleeved... Are these sleeves or sleeved cards? There's a, a Victini. Oh, a 20th anniversary Victini. Very nice. Mythical, uh, year of the mythical Pokemon, 20th anniversary Victini promo. There's, and then a, a, a pack of sleeves. Oh, thank you. Um, we've got a bunch of deck boxes that contain cards within them, all of them. Oh. A Merlo. Merlo. A Merlo card. We've got uh, inside these deck boxes. Does this look to be a deck? I think it is. I don't think it's a random assortment of cards. I think it's this. I think it's maybe this deck specifically. But no hollow, which implies the hollow might be. Oh no, look, there's some cards that definitely shouldn't be there. Okay. We'll look through all these. We'll see if we find any hollows. Let's have a look in the Steam Siege one. Let's have a look. Electric Psychic. I mean, that looks like a deck to me. But you never know what you're going to find. You never, ever know. Oh, there's the Hooper Hollow to go at the front of the deck. This is probably a complete deck. Oh, I love this. This tells a story of someone who was playing during the X and Y era. Who was playing during the 20th anniversary of Pokemon Sun and Moon is maybe less interested in the in the game now. I I mean I'm definitely interested, so thank you. Raichu, yeah, that's the deck. That's a deck. That's a deck. Very nice. Um, and it's just someone who's been, you know, collecting in that time. I'm very excited to see what's in the other Elite Trainer box. I'm, I feel like I'm trying to build up to the best. That's what I feel like I'm trying to do, but I obviously have no idea what's in there. I see a Regirock. That's got to be the uh, this Ancient Origins deck. I really got into it during Ancient Origins, actually. That was when I started the channel, and I was, like, looking to do Pokemon cards during the time of Bird Keeper Toby. And, uh, you know, they didn't do too well, so I was like, oh, you know, I'll leave it. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I never got around to it until now with Card Keeper Toby. Best cry in the anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's green stuff on my hands. That's nice. I should definitely uh, get some anti back or something. Uh, oh, this is a neat looking box. 
This looks like... Is this Dex? Is this Dex? So what's this first one? Is this another theme deck? The Lugia one? Or is this like a constructed... No, because then there's some hollows from Detective Pikachu. Hollow Vicavolt. Judge. There's some, there was an N in there. There's a Flareon card. Everyone, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna pause the recording here. I wanna go wash my hands because they're covered in sort of green stuff and I think I heard the door go. All right, I'm back to it. Back to it. There we go. My hands feel a bit cleaner now. What we got here then? We got a Lugia Break. Very nice. Tell you what. Break isn't usually my thing, but Lugia Break is a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Golden Lugia. Very nice. Good Bloom. We've got a Zerua. We've got some various cards from various sets. Very interesting. And it looks like we've got some code cards at the end here. Here you go. Steam Siege. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, I'll give you one more. Sun and Moon. There you go. We have... Ooh. Another sleeved up series of cards. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit there. Another, oh, I like these sleeves. Oh, they're like the Gyarados ones, okay. Um, another sleeved up series of common cards. Steven, I like, I like looking at the old supporters. Ooh! Mega Manetric EX. Wait, this is a secret rare. This is a secret rare card. Look at this. Okay, so this ma this Manetric, this is interesting here. This is number 120 out of 119, making it a secret rare. And you can tell that by the golden border as well. That's how I sort of identified it. Tell you what. That's nice. Mega Manetric again, not one of my favorites. But seeing a secret rare always, always makes me happy. Thank you so much. This is so incredibly generous, Daniel. So above and beyond anything you needed to do. This is all out of focus. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, there we go. Focus is back. Lysander's trump card. I, I believe that was banned. It was so good. What does it do? Each play player shuffles all cards of his and her discard pile into their deck. Yeah, I could see that being a bit broken, a bit busted. Uh, all right. We've got... Uh... <gasps> wow, I've just seen something in the box. An Umbreon! Oh wow! And the Sylveon! There's some evolutions in here! That's exciting. Oh, this is so cool. This is so generous. No one needs to give me this much. Thank you. We've got uh oh my goodness. They're adorable. Look at that Umbreon. Who doesn't like a good Umbreon? I gotta say, again, not my favorite evolution, but I'm loving everything that's coming out of this box. Everything, and I don't even think we're onto the best stuff yet. I really don't. I really, really don't. Oh my goodness. Focus. Make our way through into some evolutions cards. All right, there's a, a final little pile of cards in this box before we move on to the next one. Yeah. There's some sleeve cards at the back I'm seeing. So we've got a whole bunch of energy. This looks like a pile of energy. And at the very back, a revive and another Sylveon. Ooh, someone was a Sylveon collector. Someone likes their evolutions very, very much. Well, thank you, because these are gorgeous cards. I especially love that Flareon. That Flareon with the triple evolution artwork is... Mwah. I don't know why they didn't in this set do more cards like that. That's, I mean, look at that. How gorgeous. How nice. How generous. Um, we've next up, we've got a deck box. So like a Pokeball. My desk's getting filled here. A Pokeball deck box. Can you have some of those? We can do some trades, Amy. For sure. Um, but these are nice. These are nice. What do we have here? We have... Maybe this was the deck they played. Oh, you know what? I think I... Oh. Alatios EX. Very cool promo card. 
Maybe this is the deck they played. Zapdos and Articuno combined the power of electric and water. Perhaps that was it. <gasps> a Gyarados EX and it's a shiny one. Oh, very nice. Another promo card of this era. You can really see this is the era that this guy played in. A Gyarados. Oh, I needed this. I needed these not that long ago. And now here they are. Oh, the whole Gyarados family is here to be part of this deck. The whole Gyarados family. Sorry, I don't mean to get too loud, but that's nuts. The secret rare Gyarados? The secret rare red Gyarados of the set? Daniel, this is too generous. You need to take these back off me. I, you can't be sending me all this. Phenomenal card. Manaphy, Greninja, and the red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage. What are Greninja and Manaphy doing at the Lake of Rage? I don't know. Beautiful. Beautiful card. And again, I'm saying all this thinking maybe we're saving the best to last. I don't know. Because next up is a binder. And obviously I can't shuffle through cards one at a time and there's not enough room on the desk. So I'm just going to open it up. And I mean, there's so many cards in here. I guess I'll let you know if anything really, really interesting comes up. Maybe that's the thing to do. And I, I mean, I gotta say, it's a lot of cards from this same era. So this is X and Y through the sun and the moon. This is the era of cards. Oh, wow. There's a couple of hollows in here. I'm gonna let you know if anything extraordinary comes up. There's a Mew. We gotta love the Mew. We gotta love the Mew from Evolutions. It's a lot of cards. This is so generous. And there's still one more parcel after this that is really above and beyond. Like, I can't even... Whew. Okay. This is amazing. This is someone's whole collection. It's incredibly generous. I think I have my uh, Generation 6 era covered. For all future... This really is, this is like... Okay, this is the start of like... I, I want to say a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire through to the end of the generation. And clearly this person collected a lot in that time. My goodness. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for all of the EXs, all of the hollows, all of the everything. I've got a lot of cards here to sort through. Th Sorry for the cut there. It's been kind of a manic one. Been kind of a manic one. But we've got one more thing. One more thing to check out that we got to check out. All right. And that's this parcel, this package, this delivery right here. We got one more. Thank you to everyone who sent me stuff. Thank you to everyone watching this live on Twitch for subscribing and supporting uh, supporting what I do. This channel. Oh, we got some other stuff in here. We got some Pokemon stickers. Very nice. Some classic stickers. We got Jolteon, Arcanine, Charizard, Charmander, Charmeleon. Nice, the whole set. But that is not, that is not what this is about. This isn't what, what it's all about. What it's all about, ah, uh, thank you for the bits, thank you for the subs, everyone. What it's all about is this card here. And it says if you've read it, Mewtwo Hidden Fates. Sure, okay. But this is what I'm really excited about. This is not just a Mewtwo from Hidden Fates, okay? I already had the Mewtwo from Hidden Fates and I actually just traded it the other day. I got a PSA 9 on the grade. But you'll notice there's something wrong with this Mewtwo. There's something off with it. And I'm not mad. I'm very happy. I'm very excited about it. Where is, do I have a safe way of, of finagling this out? Cause they put tape over the top of the top loader. This. Wow. Is a miscut Mewtwo. Hidden Fates. Why did I buy it? Because it's, it's shiny Mewtwo and it's miscut. And I didn't realize to what extent this miscut went. You see this dot right here? I gotta, we gotta look at this. I don't think that dot is uh, damage. I think that dot's part of the print. Look at that. 
it that's a perfectly circular dot this is an accidental part of the print that wow that is not how a mewtwo that's not right is it that's not how mewtwo usually looks hidden fates mewtwo there's no way There's no way that is as intended. No, it's not. That's not. That's not what they intended at all. So it's got this really cool dot on its forehead. And then on top of that, as we look along the cold card, we see this border is thicker so much so that we get a little dot right at the bottom here. Do you know what this dot's called? It's called an alignment dot which means it's miscut you should not be able to see an alignment dot that dot is what makes it miscut and when i look at it i see the alignment dot on the other side in the bottom right corner that's that's what that is it's not whitening it's an alignment dot as for the actual quality of the card itself It looks pretty flawless to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to full. I'm, it, it looks pretty good to me. That dot is fascinating. I'm not seeing a scratch on this thing. To me, this is clear as day, a miscut, a misprint. Wait, is that? Hold up, I've just made the cut. Do you know what? I've just got sort of a little bit of uh, a little speck on the card. Give me a moment. Gonna get a new sleeve. And get it in a nice new sleeve. Wherever my nice new sleeves are. Wherever they may be. That is a miscut. Mewtwo GX, one of a kind. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has sent me big collections, who has sent me gold stars, who have, you know, even the people that I'm just buying off on eBay. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you want to see any more PO Box openings from me, there are more on this channel, Card Keeper Toby. Of course, if you were watching this live on Twitch, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot, and it helps me run this channel and run both. So, thank you. You're all wonderful. Of course, so high Pokemon Masters. And that...